A lot of people have asked how the wetsuit actually engages with the drone and how the battery cover stops water from getting inside. So let me talk a little bit about that. So the first thing is we designed and engineered a battery cover that not only creates a 360 degree perimeter around the seam of where the battery goes in, but it also creates an airtight seal and a vacuum. And we utilize a 3M adhesive that always remains sticky. It doesn't remain stuck, it remains sticky. And we know this because we're going on three years with the Phantom 4, the seals on the Phantom 4, which act exactly the same way as this. So when you take your battery and you put it in, however you put your batteries in, it creates that perimeter all the way across the drum. That creates an airtight vacuum. So if I were just simply to try to pull this straight up, I won't have much luck. I also will not have a lot of luck with the drone holding it like this to try to release that battery. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold up the legs. They fit in these slots right here perfectly. And what's nice is now I've got a good hold on the drone. I've got a really good hold and I can squeeze these legs and they're not going to have any play whatsoever, which is really nice because on the Mavic 2s, there are people that have talked about how the legs have gotten looser and looser with time. And that's because when they put it in the case, there's a little bit of play and after a while, just having these legs collapse a little bit makes the legs loose. So it's nice to have this nice and secure. It works with both the front and the back legs. So now that I've got a secure hold, I've got to break that seal and I can't do it pulling it straight up. So what I do is I rock it until I hear the vacuum give way. And right there you can hear that pop. And once I have that pop, I can release the battery. So that's how I know that an airtight seal was created and that my battery was fully protected. So what can happen? Well, if you fly for just two or three minutes in the rain, in a good rain, I'm not talking about a drizzle, you're going to get water inside the battery connector. And when that happens, your drone's going to drop right out of the sky. It's not going to give you any warning, it's just going to drop right out of the sky. The other issue that you're going to have is the power button. And this we know from people that had the Mavic 2s on all the problems that can happen. So one of the first things that happens when your power button gets corrupted from rain or moisture is the battery will give you a warning. It'll say the battery is no longer able to connect to the drone. Once that happens, your battery is fully compromised. The other thing that can happen is your battery will start flashing. And when it starts flashing, your battery is compromised. And last, is when the battery actually starts to swell, your battery is compromised. And sometimes the battery swells and pops the battery right out. The battery disconnects, the drone falls to the ground. That cannot happen when you have that adhesive seal because it's so impossible to pull the battery straight up. I can't do it. So you've got to fold up the legs you got to get a good handle and you got to be able to rock. And once you hear that pop, you can hear the seal breaking. So that's really all there is to the battery and how it engages. The same exact thing applies to the Mavic Air, except it's a little smaller. But the principles are the same. You're creating an airtight seal all the way around the battery, you create the vacuum, and if I were to try to pull straight up, I'm not going to be able to do it, not with this grip and not with this angle. So I've got to put these in place, exact same thing, they protect the legs from any play, and now I've got a real nice way of holding it, and now I can break that seal. And once I hear the seal broken, I'm good to go, the battery comes out, and we're good. And this again is the weak link, the power button. 
What's nice about the power buttons is they stay inside the battery cover. They simply work just the way it is right now. You push the button like you normally would, except it has a power button seal on it. Now, one thing I want to mention is that foreign members get an awful lot for their money. Instead of one battery cover, you guys get three. Instead of one power button seal, you get three. Instead of one color, I think you get five. I think five is what I sent out to everyone that got the pre-orders. But you'll still get more than one color, uh, no matter how, how I do it. The forum members will always get the best of the best for being on this forum. Because your support, it, it helps with the forum. Everybody on this forum wants everyone to be able to fly as successfully as they possibly can. That's the truth. Whether you, you like different people or not, the bottom line is everybody wants everyone to be able to fly with as minimal problems as possible, with minimum risk. And the wetsuits, they're designed to negotiate the water the very best way they can. And we also know how water resistant the drone is all by itself. And what we did was improve upon what DJI kind of left, left open, which happens to be the battery cover and the power button. And we solved that issue in the most efficient and lightest way possible. 0 0.65 ounces. What a fantastic mod for as many benefits as you get with the wetsuit. And again, being able to hold the wetsuit, being able to get a really good secure grip on that neoprene and give it a good squeeze, that's critical. Because trying to capture this in the rain and the snow when it's wet, that's, that's creating more risk than, than needs to be. So you can, you can make that easier by having that neoprene and knowing that you've got the most secure hold you, you possibly can on such a little drone as this and the, and the Mavic 2.